kitchen where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling. But all complexions that I adore, so hard to find, they seem impossible to score. So I dream of. Sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much, and we are going to have so much fun. Today is a very big treat for you all. I am at one of my very best friends' homes. Uh, they just hung a brand new television, and I just got through adjusting these curtains here to hide the wires that came down or the plugs that came down. She and I both hate those things, so that's what I, the first thing I wanted to fix for her. She got this new credenza, and I wanted to kind of style that for her. So I came down here today to do that, and I thought that y'all would like to see that. So we're going to do this together. So this is the area that we're going to be working on. This is a beautiful cabinet she purchased in Enterprise. And um, let me see if I can get it open. Look at all this decor space that I can use. So we're going to work on that together. But I do want to kind of make the top look really good. She's already got one uh, candle holder over here. She's got two more. But we're going to kind of play with that center. You can see in the middle that you can see the bar that goes up to the television. And I want to fix that because I don't want you to see that. So we're going to work on that together. And... So excited we get to decorate, yay! So she has three of these. So she has the large one and two of the medium, or they're actually all three different sizes. So I'm gonna kind of play with this. I'm almost thinking, I wonder, maybe too tall. I kind of like it in the center. But I'm almost wondering if it's too tall. Let's play with it, okay? It takes your eye away from that column for sure. I really normally like to do a larger, like hills and valleys. Like I always tell y'all, I like to do larger pieces on either ends. But that really hides that eyesore of a pole. She's got these beautiful half sphere um, flowers that she purchased and we could do those. I could space these out. Let's try that. See how that looks. That doesn't look bad but I really like them close together. We're gonna leave that for here right now and we'll play with some other things to see what I can come up with. Um, she's got a ton of greenery, a ton of candle holders, so we'll just have to fill in. Since I have the white in the center, I'm thinking about putting this white on one side, I could do it here, I could do it here. I think I'm kind of liking that area, and then we'll put some greenery in it. She has some really pretty just grasses. And I really like that just kind of billowing out. She does have white flowers. This is an off-white with the white. I do like the mixture. Now we have 
enough statue things with flowers. Maybe we need to mix in. She has a box, like I hate mine. So, let's see if we can kind of disguise that. Look at all this area to feel. Wow. She has these gray beads, and just to add some interest, I think I like that. And you don't have to fill every shelf up and just kind of piece here and there just to bring your eye across the piece. She loves the color teal. That you can't see. I think that's simple enough for right now. We can add more into it later. I love the teal up here. I almost need some teal over there. I'm really liking that. So this is what I came up with. I did the lantern on the end little blessed sign. I left the candle holders in the center and we can find other items and redo this later. This is just to get her through for now. I think it's beautiful. I did very simple in the bottom. I just did, you know, some greenery here and here and across and up. So really pretty, very simple.
Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving.